All right, into this draft. I like the um, the GP pick for Impact. The one thing that's a little bit nerve wracking here for me is that they don't have like a trundle or something, and they have relatively low damage right now for killing the Orn. And the problem with this that I'm seeing is generally what you'd want to pick to kill a tank would be like an Aphilios or a Jinx for EG. But if you go Aphilios or Jinx here, um, then you're kind of playing into PSG's hands. Like PSG wants you to play a low uh, mobility AD carry. So I'm not too sure about this. Like theoretically, the GP should win, but I think that Orn at this tournament has just been insane. I mean, I, th I think it probably has to be an Aphilios, even though Aphilios is not the best. Samira is good. I don't like Samira here because of what the enemy team has. All right, let's see how it goes. I think that it's scary for EG. Maybe EG can, can, can end up winning. Like the Rune King. I mean, Nocturne, is, I, I really don't like the draft from, from EG here. I just think, I think that the draft like could be fine. I just think that this is not the draft that you go into what PSG has. Number one, PSG has like a, a pretty hard backline to dive. Like a Kaisa is not ideal. Like this is something you'd pick when the enemy team has like squishy front line. And then they have like a, a Jinx or an Aphilios or something like that. What's the, what's the window for EG to win this? Well, they have to, I think number one, they have to win their lanes. I think that this is a game where... If you're if you're gonna have GP into Orin and you're not gonna have damage later on and you're gonna pick a Samira into the Kaisa, I think you have to win your lanes and you're gonna have to make like odd man plays. The advantage that they still have is before the team fights actually group up and you get pure front to back with Leona and Orin in front and the Lisa and peeling, you have the ability to make plays on the map that the enemy team can't respond to because you have more mobile champion in RE mid than the Vex, and you have a Nocturne that can level six like gank through lane um and can out farm a, a lease and early so they're gonna just have to play like a, a better early game for sure to have a chance of winning this i think what's up guys this video is brought to you by extra wallets the smartest most efficient wallet on the planet i've got two of them right here this is your classic black leather wallet and then my favorite is actually this aluminum blue wallet it actually comes in 14 different colors and it's super super efficient it's really easy to use as you can see nothing is coming out of the wallet one click of a button boom all my cards are right here actually not using my cards because i don't want you to steal my information but all you got to do is take your card out pay for whatever and then it's really easy you just put it on the back press it in and as you can see nothing is coming out of the wallet it's literally that easy some of the smartest wallets on the planet it can attach to your smartphone so you know what is going on with your wallet if you lose your wallet your smartphone will track exactly where it is it's solar powered leave it in the sun for two hours that's a three month charge right now if you use my link in the description below you will get a 15 percent off anniversary sale but if you use it after april 13th 20 percent off mother day sale look in the description below for the link and use it now get your extra wallet oh come on vulcan oh no that's a tragedy they, like this game is already feeling super super hard for eg you waste your first nocturnal and your re dies like this I don't know what Vulcan's doing here. He's just trying to stall time for Danny. And I mean, okay. All right, let's see it. They're going for the Danny big play. They they actually sacrificed for the Danny big play here. It's not happening though. Enemy team used their flashes away. Impact flashed over and doesn't get Hanabi. It's uh, they they look so out of sorts. Okay, I like that. That's a good play. Vex, uh, Vex will die 200%. He has no flash. That's a really good play. I like that. And Ari, Ari gets both kills here, which is really nice for him. Okay, that's good. And they get Harold. That's exactly what EG needed. Let's go, baby. You think RNG would pick G2 or EG? I think that RNG will for sure pick EG. I mean, look, dude, look at the RNG game that they played versus EG yesterday. Like, it, it looked so and easy for them to be honest and like in, in their mind they're just gonna be like okay look if g2 shows up they could actually be scary but even if eg plays their best we probably still win okay oh man that's so big that's a 600 gold shutdown uh jojo you gotta wait for them to show on the wave before you do this oh my god this herald might not even crash wow they don't even crash oh they actually do crash the herald that was like really really close that was really really close to where they can stop it Oh, oh, that was a great charm. Oh my God. Really good charm by Jojo. Can they do anything here? Can they catch him? Oh, he got the three man barrel. He actually did get that barrel. Kaiwing's dead too. 
All right, they get they get Drake here. It's a Mountain Drake too, which is it's really crucial Drake to get because if they don't get the Drake here, um, and Orin starts stacking these Drakes, it's completely. F***ed. They take the jungle and they take Drake. All right, really big, really big. Let's go, NA. Let's go, NA. If NA win this, they they're guaranteed through. By the way, I like that now they're actually just like setting up. They're taking good fights. They're playing with their brains. Like even if they're not playing perfectly. I love seeing NA teams actually give it their all because it's been such a classic thing of NA for so long to be scared of losing instead of just being like trying to take um, time to win. Also, really good pick from Inspired. Really good to go on the AD here. Let's go, Inspired. Let's go, team. I like what I'm seeing here. I like what I'm seeing here. Okay. We actually have an internationally competitive team it's not even about having an internationally competitive team like because i don't actually think this team can win a best of five against rng or t1 the two teams they're gonna have to play right i don't think they can win a best of five against rng versus t1 i just want them to show up with their balls you know like bring your balls to the tournament oh kaiwing's going on to impact that should be really fine for them this should be really really good for eg i think i think psg is inting here hard yeah, PSG is inting here so hard. They, they they committed everything onto Impact, and Impact's the one that has the uh, <laughs> the oranges for all the CC. Oh, good hook, Vulcan! Dude, they they're coming with their balls. Let's go! As dude, as somebody who's watched so many NA failures, this is like this is like really nice to watch. This is really good to watch. Like, even even if somehow they ended up losing this game, like, the fact that they actually played this game and they're like, we're drafting an early mid-game comp, right? Like, they're the, the enemy team is the one that has the, the, the Orin. They have the f***ing scaling. They have the front to back. They have the Orin Leona front to back team fights. We're not winning those, right? So we're going to actually have to, like, make plays on our two item spikes or our, like one and a half item spikes or, or our mythic spikes. Like we have to do things in these moments. And to see the NA team actually like pull the fucking trigger, bro. I'm proud, I'm proud of this. Cause they, they were like, I mean, real talk, they were playing like season a few of the matches. You know, like there, there was some matches where it's like, you guys are really just okay with losing. We need this. These are like the wins I want. I don't want the wins where it's like, it's like guys, like just showing up to the tournament is enough. Just give it time. We have we have a, a few years. Okay, uh, it, this is a little bit crazy by Inspired, but actually it ends up working. God damn. Okay, he has stopwatch. No, it was actually really well played. I didn't know he had a stopwatch. Um. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, Danny just got kicked into the whole team, but he's out. No, he's dead. He's dead, but I don't think it matters. I think that, that everyone else can carry the, the the fight. Impact is actually so fucking strong. Inspired is not weak either, and JoJo's not weak. They can win this. There's the hook! Holy Vulcan hit a hook! Uh, NA qualified. That's it. NA qualified. Holy sh NA qualified. NA qualified. NA qualified. Let's go! Also, EU fans. Hey. You can, you can just tweet at EG and say thank you. Say thank you, base EG.